Hey guys, Elijah the Game here with yet another video. And by the way, um, our clan is recruiting. You can go to my YouTube for details. I right, dispatch show me ten eight. Hi right, guys, so today I'm gonna be patrolling at Paluto Bay, and the sheriff. So I'm just like a sheriff today. Got my crew emblem I created. It takes a lot of work to make a crew in room to actually look right. At first, my first design didn't come out right, and I was very skeptical skeptical of how it looked. So I kept redoing it and redoing it and finally got it right. So I just changed the letters to look kind of like my city's, my, yeah, my city police design check it out you can see the yellow on there the black shirt I gotta get a utility vest so I can put the put it on there but I gotta talk to my friend Raleigh as soon as he gets a new mic and everything alright guys back to patrol let's see what we can get into GTA is pat GTA 5 Rockstar is kind of patching a lot of stuff, so the game is becoming more and more restricted. So there's not much I can really do, unless this was PC where I could mod the shit. But still, it's still kind of restricted on PC too, because there's copyright laws. You can you have to follow and everything. You can get banned from it. So yeah, it's kind of difficult. So I also role play as a cop on GTA IV, which is GTA 4. If you're not sure what that means, um, I got mods on there like a police helper. Let me check pet ID and everything. No, I do not want to hey, answer your call. That's very loud. Anyway, let me check the pet ID. I'm gonna go ahead and run this. It's taking too long. I don't feel like being stuck there for hours. And. And it says I can pull out a fire scheme extinguisher. I'm gonna go ahead and get these people off here, this property. We got a call that there's two people out here kinda being loud, so I guess they need to the people. Hey guys, you gotta, gotta go. 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 Thanks for cooperating. I wish these people would stop calling me. I don't really care. I'm gonna go and turn right here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and Head towards the police department, go down a dirt road, hopefully. See if we can get, see what we can get into down there. I'm not sure whether he went around to the UE or came from the direction I was coming. The hell we gotta who the hell parked the car there? Probably gonna have to break the window and get it out of here, back it up a little bit. Looks abandoned. I'm just checking it with my flashlight, see if I can see inside of it. Yeah, it looks like it looks, it looks locked, so I'm gonna have to break the window and open it. I'm gonna back it up just a little bit. Turn 
turn that off. Even though you guys can hear it, but I can hear it. Whoop. All good. Alright, guys, here's the next scenario. Oh, what do we got here? Get out the way. Okay, so. Dispatch is like telling me I gotta. Be ready for anything, so. EMBs on a computer make your game all dark and everything when it's nighttime. That's what I learned in GTA 4. Alright, we have right to the scene. Get my flashlight out just in case, just in case someone tries to pop out on me. <clears throat> kind of nervous to go up there, but I'm gonna have to. If you guys ever heard of the thing, the thing, it's like a little horror game for like X, the original Xbox, when they have like bloody hell monsters and everything, monsters from hell and everything. Sorry, I play like a lot of video games, so I know a lot about game details and everything. If you're looking for like game advice and everything, I'm your guy. I were I've worked at CD Trade Post, basically all the CD Trade Posts in my town through a temp agency. They moved me around town through different stores, so I got the experience to actually working in a game store where they sell movies and everything too. But like. I worked in like stocking and everything and in inventory to do inventory. So I got to talk to people about video games and what video games are about and what to do and what not to do with games and how to take care of them and everything. And if something is defective to bring it back and we'll return and we'll give you a receipt with the same amount of money you spent. But we can't give you money, but we can let you get a different game at the same price. Alright guys, let's check out the lights. Sorry guys, in all my videos I gotta do this. Just part of the Lodge the Gamer production. You know what would be badass if this had a amber bar, a hazard light bar, and I, it'll be nice if I can plug up a universal, you know, keyboard to my Xbox and could have an ELS where I can get a control of the lighting and everything like you do on PC. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, dude? What are you doing, my dude? Stop. No, yeah, that's a... Get out, man. Yeah, man. Where'd you go? I won't call the globe where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Uh, dispatch. Um, suspect has hit a barrier on the bridge area, and I lost sight of him. And his vehicle was abandoned. So, I don't know, I'm going to have to move this vehicle. Realistically speaking, guys, if this was real, I would have had to actually go down there. And realistically speaking, in game physics, in GTA physics, if you jump over a wall that high, I'd have to go all the way around, and where the hell did my car go? Let's check out this vehicle a little bit. 
looks like an AI vehicle. So, I'm, I, if you're not familiar with the AI on GTA 5, there's the people, the pedestrians that drive hey, crazy, hell, hella crazy, and like reckless, and have no filter when it comes to driving in traffic. And if you're in front of them, they have no filter and they will hit you. And I am not kidding when I say they will hit you. You know, this thing looks like an army truck. Looks like something. Um, what's that guy's name? I'm not sure what that guy's name is, but that really doesn't tell you much detail, does it? All right, guys, check out my outfit. I'm, I'm really digging the police emblem. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for. I'm sorry about everything. Please stay tuned for more.